Hello, uh, today I'm gonna solve number 30, cell string with concatenation of all words. Okay, let's read the problem. You are given a string S and a list of words, words that are all of the same length. Find all starting indices of substrings in S. That is a concatenation of each word in words exactly once and without any intervening characters. Let's just see the first example. The words is Fu and Bar. You can find the two substrings composed of the concatenation of words Fu and Bar. The starting point is 0 and 9. Okay, let's see the second example. The words are word, good, best, word. As you can see, the word occurred twice. Same word can exist in word list. But as you can see in string S, there is no concatenation composed of a word list existing exactly once, so the return value is empty. Okay, let's think about the idea to solve this problem. There are foo and bar in word list and the string S. First, we have to iterate the string S from left side toward the right side. And we have to find each word in word list. How can you find fast? Hash function could be used to find the word in constant time. You can compose a hash table using the word list. And also the count information should be provided because the duplication is allowed in the word list. And during the iteration, you have to manage two count variables. The first one is total count. The second is the count array for each word. Total count should be 2 to satisfy the concatenation. But during the iteration, the word count should not be bigger than the one in the hash table during the iteration. With these two conditions, we can find the substring satisfying the concatenation of a words list. Let's just see the process to find the substring. From the first start, bar and foo are found in hash table, and then each word count is 1, respectively. And also the total count is 2. So at the point of foo, we could know this substring satisfy the concatenation condition. So we can push the first starting point in answer array. At the second start, we can check the foo and bar in the same manner. It also satisfies the condition. Word count is not bigger than the count in hash table, and total count is 2. So the second start point is pushed as answer. Okay, let's see the second example. As you can see, good happens twice. So the good count is 2, which is bigger than the one in hash table. So we could know that this is not satisfying the concatenation condition. In this case, we have to move the starting point increased by 1. Okay, let's just see the code. I implemented to find the substring functions. There is a while loop to iterate the segment, checking the substring satisfying the condition of concatenation of a word list. The current word is stored in W, and the current word count and the total count are increased by 1, respectively. And check the current word count is bigger than the count in hash table. If it is bigger, we should stop the while loop, because the current substring cannot be the concatenation, so we have to move the starting point to the next position. In case of total count, same as the word list size, we should add the starting point in answer array and then move the index to the next position of word and return answer array. I missed the explanation on current table, which is also hash table, to store the current word count during the iteration. Current table is used to compare the word count in original hash table. Okay, this code performs 332 millisecond, which is faster than 36.44%. It's pretty slower, so we have to find improving point. Okay, let's think about how to improve the performance. First, we have to change the iteration of a string S. To reduce the duplication, we should not stop the nested loop when it encounters a matched word. It should go to the end of the string S checking the substring during the iteration until it completed the string s and the outer iteration i doesn't need the end of string s it just can move to the size of a single word as you can see in the diagram we can check every starting point of the word without duplication so it could have the better performance 
And the second way is that if we met the word full in second place, of which count is bigger than the one in word list. In this case, we have to move the starting point at the beginning of second full. So we can jump the length 6, but we should be careful. When we move the starting point, we should decrease the word count. You can see the another example. During the iteration from the start, you can meet the third full. At this point, the current full count is bigger than the full count in hash tape, which is 2. We can suppose that regardless of previous example. In that case, we have to move the starting point to the second full. And at the moment, we should subtract the word count for the segment jumped by moving starting point. Last improving point is that when we encounter the unknown vocabulary, we have to move the starting point to the next point of unknown word. Because the unknown word cannot compose the concatenation, so we have to exclude that segment. Okay, let's see the improved solution. The first while loop has been changed. Iterator i just moves to word length. And then in the while loop, there is no break. Index moves to end of string. But actually, we don't need to go to the end of string. Start plus word length multiply word count should be smaller or equal to string size to satisfy the concatenation. And if we met the unknown word, we have to move the starting point to the next of current word and the count variable is cleared. And the current word count is bigger than the count in hash table. As I already explained, we have to move the starting point until the current word count is not bigger than the count in hash table. During the moving process, we have to subtract word count in the segment and then move the starting point step by step. If a total size equals to the size of word list, we have to add the starting point answer array. And then the starting point is just moved to the next word. So we can subtract the count 1 from the current word count and the total count. Okay, this code performs 28 milliseconds, which is faster than the 93.76%. If you get help to solve this problem from this video, please click like button down below and please give your comment. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.